Okay, this is Aaron again with Exalted Lamb 1, and I have my part 2, but I've actually changed it. Now I'm calling it February Sacrifices, uh, based on some more, more information I found on this video. So I'm going to get right to it. Um, if you haven't watched my last video, watch part 1. Um, there's a lot of information in that as far as the timeline and the apple roll and the 13-day timeline I'm talking about with the apple roll starting with this day right here where Lily drops the apple and she's paying to be delivered the birth and again This is the Revelation 12 sign example a birth of the Antichrist as far as an antithesis to the birth of the man-child descri described in Revelation 12 so that's why this is a birth. And then she drops the apple. And the apple is, you know, is a reddish version with stripes like Jupiter. And Jupiter exited Virgo on the Revelation 12 sign that was in um, September 23rd, 2017. But the birth was 14 days earlier on 9-9-2017. Anyway, let me get into this. So <clears throat> I'm going to cover what happened at the Super Bowl. Um, I talked about in my last video about the Super Bowl um, on 2-2-2020 or February 2nd, 2020 which is also breaks down to each two is one plus one or 11, 11, 11, 11, which adds up to 44, which is uh, stinky B.O.'s number. He was the 44th uh, prez. OK, so <clears throat> it's also the 33rd day of the year. Let me get right into it because this is going to be a long video. I have a lot of information. I couldn't cover everything that I wanted to cover. I may have a third video. I don't know if I have time. Um, before something starts kicking off, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm going to jam as much as I can in this video. Okay, so basically, like I've said, this is the woman that has the burqa on, her dead child right there. And I'm going to touch on some things with that. But check this out. Look at her. She is crying, of course, and but her head is resting on her hand. I believe what this has shown, um, what I've seen in this, is this is the Super Bowl trophy, the Lombardi trophy. Let me show you how. So there's her head right there, and there's her arm. I knew there was something in her arm. And notice how um, her burqa, which is fabric, it is shining. And see how the Super Bowl is kind of shining. You got dark, and then you have light from it's kind of from the shine. <clears throat> so, I mean, look at that. It, on her arm on the left side, it's shining. On her head on the left side, it's shining. And look at the rough shape. In fact, it looks like um, the position of her head on top of her arm, it looks like you'd be looking at the Super Bowl trophy from somewhat underneath a little bit. It's very quite crazy. This is very compelling as far as the timing because I saw 44 and 54 in her face slash 45 because I've shared in my previous videos that 44 was in her head, top of her head, and I'm going to show you that in a second right there, <clears throat> which is D is 4, the fourth letter of the alphabet, and then V right there. Okay, that's D and V, and that's 22. 2 plus 2 is 4, and then D is 4. So that's 44, and that re represents Stinky B.O. Okay, like, again, like I said, the 44th prez. And then I showed in previous videos how this is M and N. <clears throat> One direction her head is, it's 45. The other way is 54, and I'm going to show you this. So right here, like I said, it's 44, and that's in her head, right on top of her face, in her burqa there. Um, and like I said, 44 is also, again, 2-2-2020 two, two, is 44. And so that would match that that is the day of 2-2-2020, two, two, the Super Bowl day. And that's in the trophy, in her head. Okay, that's crazy. Hopefully you're seeing this. This is a, remarkable. In fact, look at this angle down here. Okay, and look how this is very angled down here. You know, I can't bring this pointer all the way down. It's part of this stupid application. Anyway, <clears throat> um. Yeah, so that see how that's angled like that. That's not by coincidence. Okay, this is shown in here. Okay, I'm gonna go past that. Okay, so that's 44, the D and the V, and then right here, and each one is somewhat backwards because you see that the kind of the tail, or whatever you want to call that, of the end right here, the kind of tail and little tail. There's a tail here and there's a square end right here, but it's kind of backwards, but it's N and M. Okay, and of course N is 14 <clears throat> and M is 13. I just ate something, so my throat's a little funky. Uh, excuse me. Um, and then so 1 plus 4 in the N is f 5, and 1 plus 3 in the M is 4. Okay? So that adds up to 
Okay, actually, let me, I, I have put a slide in there. I didn't realize I didn't get rid of. Anyway, so you have the 44 on top of her head, and then in her, like, running, it looks like, I don't know what that is, just dirty tears or, you know, maybe mascara. I don't, I mean, they don't wear mascara, so I don't know <clears throat> why it shows that, but it's just hidden numbers and letters, okay? Of course, numbers in the letters is what Kabbalists believe. So we have 44, and this is crazy, plus the 54, so on top of her head and then under her eyes, the 54, 44 plus 54 is 98, which is very crazy because um, I've talked about also, this is her, um, where her leg sticks up, the dead boy is down here, this is upside down, the dead boy is down here, and then above, down below here is her arm, but this is upside down, and I found cave in here, which is evac, and in cave, in the 31225 is 44 and I you know put a box around it in um, because BO stinky BO is purple and then 45 which is trumple um, and then together backwards they make 544 okay and so I mentioned before that 94 was when the dead bush died George HW the dead bush at 94 but another way of looking at it is 54 or backwards, 54 plus 44 is 98. And again, what is 98? 98 was from the Golden Gate alignment, I said, which the Golden Gate alignment was 777 days from the Revelation 12 sign. Before that, we had 7 plus 7 days. So another 777. And then from the Golden Gate alignment till I'm saying to um, Valentine's Day, okay, is showing 7 plus 7 weeks. And again, each uh, seven weeks is 49 days. Another seven weeks is 49 days, seven times seven. Together, this is 98 days. Okay, so I'm showing that. Now, is this a coincidence? Now, let me go back here. Is this a coincidence that I'm talking about the Golden Gate um, and, and possibly Golden Gate opening here slash the Silver Gate as well? Because like I've said before many times, um, the Gold and the Silver Gate will be open at the same time. The Silver Gate will be opened to kick out Lucifer from heaven, like the Bible describes. The Golden Gate will be opened by Jesus. They both will be opened by Jesus, actually. But both will be opened. He'll be kicked out through the Silver Gate. <clears throat> and then right after that, the man-child, which is the body of Christ, the head was already born, Jesus was already born into heaven, and then the body will be born, or the bride of Christ, or the man-child. It's a fem feminine version or the masculine version. The bride of Christ or the man-child, either one, and they, they're called that for different reasons, will be born into heaven right after Lucifer's kicked down. He, so he's not the prince of the power of the air anymore. He's knocked down to earth. <clears throat> and that's the silver and the gold gates. It just so happens to, at the halftime show, we got the gold and the silver gates, represented by these two women. Um, and, man, I'm going to show you some pretty incredible stuff in this video. Uh, in fact, when the Lord led me to it, I've been so blown away. Hopefully you see this and you're blown away like I am. Already, right, still, it's really quite phenomenal what I found in here, what he's led me to. It's really mind mind blowing. So we got the gold and silver gate representing these twins in a sense, two females, and twins also was in the gold and silver gate. The twins was also in both attack days, um, many things, the yin and the yang. I mean, all kinds of things that the twins are representing that they're showing twins on. I've shown many of my videos, and that's out there in the media. They're really harping on twins. They're really harping on uh, <laughs> you mean things like unicorns. I, I've never seen so many unicorns in my life. That actually represents the the little horn of, in many ways. Anyway, so I'm going to talk about the Super Bowl halftime show and all the symbolism that's in that. Okay, but I'm going to start with this. <clears throat> Here is the uh, Antichrist figure that's first... He first starts on his journey right here. He goes through the portals. There's these uh, like rectangular portal. There's four of them. Um, he's going through those and he's blowing fire. And then this egg is on fire. Okay. Uh, this egg like this is an egg. It looks kind of like a uvula hanging out. And there's a big, huge mouth right here as well, which is actually I've shared in pre previous videos. It looks like a hippopotamus mouth, which is uh, looks like I pet, which is the goddess I pet. <laughs> which, which is amazing. It's a hippopotamus, and she's the goddess of fertility and childbearing and everything because she has a big stomach and you know all the kind of stuff. Her name is Ipet, like Ipet goat. I mean, are you kidding? Or Ipet goat is another way of looking at it. Again, Ipet goat is very multi layered, multifaceted. So many so symbolisms going on all over the place. Okay. 
But I think in this, this is an egg. I believe in here is some information I've uncovered. Um, so eventually he goes a little bit farther. That Again, I'm pointing to the egg here, and then it stops being on fire. But see these lines in the egg? I've noticed how they match um, some other things in iPad Goat and other things, especially in the Super Bowl, which is really crazy. Um, so I'm going to show you this. And then, of course, the dead wo or the woman that's crying with the dead boy, okay, the Assyrian boy, I'm saying, and he's got like a, his hair looks like it's a crown. Um, there's so much stuff going on here. In fact, I forgot to mention this, but she's sitting in the shell. I mentioned this before. She's in the shell. And so she's a sense of Venus. In fact, um, there is a painting by Botticelli called The Birth of Venus, where Venus, the goddess Venus, is in a half shell. And Birth of Venus actually equals 12.9. Um, <clears throat> in English Gematria, and I forgot to put that in here. I have so much stuff I could put in here. It's ridiculous. I have so much to share. It's right now. It's just, it's off the chain. So I'm gonna talk about Venus later and how re v Venus represents feminine, um, black, um, <clears throat> uh, silver, many things. Okay, so let's keep going. But what I'm focusing on right now is the dead child right here, which is a version of. The Antichrist dying and then being reborn, reborn, death and rebirth. Okay, so here he is. And guess what? On his eye, he has an egg. And that egg looks just like or very similar to the other egg I said, said that was on that uvula in that throat where he first starts. Okay, and then check this out. So here's the halftime, um, Super Bowl halftime show, first opening screen um, that's on their video of it. And check this out. Here's that boy's um, head wound. Which again, the Antichrist has a head wound. The Bible says he would have a, he'll have a head wound, and then he'll recover or whatever, come back from that. Um, <clears throat> and then here's the other egg. Do you already see how these are similar? I mean, do you see here? Let me show you this. This is like a D shape. There's a D shape right here. There's a D shape. Of course, it's upside down. I'm gonna show you, uh, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this all upside down here in a second. But then we have this, we have this, and we have this. Okay, and then they want people to think that this is a P. Well, it looks more like something else, but anyway. And then right here we have a V. See this V shape? It's a V. It's kind of distorted. Of course, a lot of things are distorted so by the enemy, so you can't completely tell what they look like. But it's there. This is a V here because it's got a point. It's got a separation here. And then without the separation here, this is a V as well. Okay, and then we have this D, we have this, we have this V as well. But we have a set extra line right here, and I'm going to explain what that is here in a second. But So these match. So this is the egg. <laughs> this is the egg. This is the egg. The egg represents, of course, conception and birth, uh, both. I mean, that's why there's uh, you know rabbits um, as well in iPad Go, the white rabbit, which has to do with opening the portal, which also has to do with you know uh, birth and conception and all that, because... You know, rabbits multiply just as much as, guess what, chickens, which is egg represents as well, or any other animal. Chickens multiply like crazy, um, and they have eggs as well, <clears throat> as well as other animals, of course. Okay, so I turn this image upside down so you can see it better, and I'm going to break this down a little bit more, okay? So, and then I'm going to show you, so again, we have, um, I, I, again, I show you, this is a V, I, in a sense, or a 1, and a D, this is a V shape, and this is such an I or one, and a D. Again, they believe I, one, are the same. I and one, and because I is also nine. It's the ninth letter of the alphabet. And so, in many ways, this is both. And again, we have V, I, D, okay, or V, one, D, okay? And I'm going to explain why that is. And then even this logo, the Super Bowl logo right here, you have V... <laughs> And then I, see, V, I, V, I. And then this is an A shape. This stand for the for the egg. <laughs> Again, this is an egg as well. The stand for the egg is an A shape. And then they, we have an L, okay? So let me get into this. And then I want to bring this, um, the, you know, woman's head into this again so you can see what's in here <clears throat> as well. Let's Now let's look at the... Low, let's look at the name Pepsi upside down. I made it bigger. Okay, so I made it bigger here. You can see it. It upside down and backwards is is dead in a sense. Okay, so there's a lot to that. It looks like is dead, but also the E now becomes an A. If you know about this stylized A with a little bit of a tail right here, that's an A. Now, it wasn't E. Okay, it wasn't E. Um, we're going to go all the way back. 
but now it's an A. So it is really, in a se better sense, it looks like is dead, but it's really is dad. <laughs> and I'm not saying maybe that has some, means something is dad, but I'm not going to get into that. Okay. But I'm going to get into the breakdown of this in Gematria here. So simple Gematria. So I is 9, uh, S is 19, D is 4, um, A, which that is now, is 1, and then D is 4 again. Okay, now let's keep going. We're going to keep the same 9. 1 plus 9 is 1, 4, 1, 4. And then we're going to take the 9 plus the 1 in the beginning here. Okay, again, anything you add 9 to stays the same. That's how this works in Gematria. It's pretty crazy. So, But it ends up being 1, 4, 1, 4. Well, what's that? Well, that ends up equaling this and this and this and this. Let me show you how. Okay, these are all the same. <clears throat> but 1, 4, 1, 4. Okay, and 4 in this situation... Which I which it shows right here because this is a D and a D is four. Uh, and that's one four, this four, and then this four is a V, which is two twos. So that can be broken down into because this confirms this. These are both the same. In fact, these are both say the same thing, but in two different ways. I'm gonna show you what that is. <clears throat> they say the same dates. These are dates, I believe. So this four is broken up into two plus two because it's right here. Okay. And then, so that's one, two, two, one, four. Well, what is that? Well, I'll get into that in a second. Now this one, same thing here. We have an one or an I, and you can use the same thing with a nine, but anything you add to nine stays the same. So if this is a nine, you add nine to 22. And what do you get? 22 still, it doesn't matter. It's the same. It'll add, it'll eventually break down to four. Um, so it doesn't matter, but I'm going to use this in this in case of a one in this example, one and a one, and we have a V and a D in between. Um, and anyway, I hope you're following this, but maybe you're not. Um, it's, it's not super simple, um, but that's what's here. One V is 22, and then we have a one again, or it's also a nine, but I'm going to just in this situation use a one. And then we have a D right here, which is four. So again, one, 22, one, four. What are the chances that these match exactly? And all these things, I'm going to show you. Now, let's keep going here. Now, this one doesn't have the 1 right here, but it has the V, the 1, and the D. So, that's 22 is the V, 22, 22nd letter of the alphabet. Then we have a 1, and then we have a D, which is 4th letter of the alphabet. Well, hmm, how are these the same, similar? You got 22, 1, 4, 22, 1, 4, 1, 22, 1, 4. Let's keep going. Look down here. Again, 22, I is 1 or, not, or 9, either way. <clears throat> and then we have an A, and A is 1, okay, that's 1, and A is the first letter of the alphabet, and then L is the 12th letter of the alphabet, so the reason I put these two as the same color, 1 and 12, because you can add them together, 1 plus 1 plus 2 is 22 is V, and then 1, then you have the 1 and the I, or 1, and then A plus L is 1 plus 1 plus 2 is 4, so again, now we have this 2214 represented in several ways. One is 12214, one is just 2214, 2214, and 12214. We got more. Okay, so what is that really saying though? What are these 12214 saying? This one and this one. We also have it right here because check this out. We've got four and four, and then we have a one and a one in the lines of our forehead. Or an I and I. You can call it the same thing, it doesn't matter. So if you count I, then we have these as I's, do we have nine, and then this becomes just 44, which we have 44. Um, if you count these as ones, then we have one, 22, one, four, or as I have it shown here, 12, two, 14. So what I'm saying in all this, did I get to this? Okay, yeah, and then, then this is what it's showing here. So we have... On all this, we re represented two ideas, two ideas. This idea is the 12th month, the second day, and then the 14th day. The second month, the second day, and then the 14th day. That's what this is showing. I'm confident of it. But I could be wrong, but for all this to match up, it's it's just so improbable. It's ridiculous. And the po chance of this not all matching up and not being this is uh, pretty much almost impossible. Um, and now I'm not saying that it exactly is, means his day. It could be signaling to other things, but it could be the time I'm talking about. So 12th month is February because I've said many times February is the 12th month. If you watch my previous videos in Latin, uh, in the Roman, uh, ancient Roman calendar, February is the 12th month. And then the second day, which was the second, which one was Super Bowl was. 
And then we're talking about the 14th day, which is uh, Valentine's Day. And so I'm saying this whole thing. I'm talking about the second day, which is the 2nd of February. I'm talking about the ninth day. And I'm talking about uh, 11th and 12th day too, but I'm not going to get into those too much. And then I'm talking about the 14th day, which is the last day of the 13 days. So number two, as I've shared in my past video, this, the second is the day one. And then 13 days later is the 14th. And another way of looking at this is the second month like we have in the Gregorian. So this is Roman 12th month. The Gregorian is the second month, February, on the Gregorian, second day, and then the four, to the 14th day. So they're showing in this egg, I believe, here and an iPad goat in the egg is when the birth of the Mr. 44, Stinky B.O., is in, in an egg and is showing the timeline from this, the birth starts from 12-2 or 2-2, February 2nd, to February 14th. February 14th. That's what this is showing, I believe. This is very uncanny how all these things are adding up to this. Okay, more evidence of this. Jennifer Lopez equals in Jewish gematria 1420. Take away the zero and you got the 14th day of the second month. Look at Jennifer Lopez um, also is 930. And like I shared, coronavirus in the last video was 930. And again, 93 days from the from the um, Golden Gate alignment, I'm saying two uh the ninth is 93 days and then right here of course the look at the coronavirus the coronavirus e in another cipher equals 14 2 or 142 which is the 40 day of the second month is this all coincidence these match no i don't think so that's why this is going on this time the coronavirus being said by millions of people all over the world people are talking about it and then it gives them more power to talk about these because the numbers behind them and the the power that's in these numbers and people saying these things is all equated to moving them along into the birth of this whole thing and what's going on. So, like I said, um, right here is 93 days from the Golden Gate alignment to um, February 9th, which is this is showing. And then we have the 98 days from the Golden Gate alignment to February uh, 14th, Valentine's Day. OK, um, and then more evidence. Uh, the, the performer Shakira, she has one name <laughs> like Cher or whoever, uh, Shakira, one name, okay? Look, she, I think she represents the first day, and she also represents the Golden Gate. And then I believe J-Lo, or Jennifer Lopez, J-Lo, um, represents the last day, or the Silver Gate. Um, and there's a number of things going on with this, but let me talk about this a little bit. So Shakira... In English ordinal is 67, which is 13, because we're talking about 13 days from the February 2nd to February 14th, including the February 2nd. And then she just happens to be the 12th month, the second day. Are you kidding me? And then right here in all Jewish ciphers, she's 3 plus 7 is 1, uh, which 3 plus 7 is 10, take away the 0 is 1. 6 plus 4 is 10, take away the 0 is 1. 1 plus 9 plus 9 is 19. That's 10. Take away the zeros. One. All Jewish reduction, I mean, all Jewish ciphers that I go by um, are e basically one. So it's the first day. And then J Lo is showing the 44 that was in the woman's head, which is the 44th Prez, uh, Stinky BO. And then this is showing 13. All these are 13. Okay. Uh, so one, that's obviously 13. Four plus nine is 13. 6 plus 7 is 13. Of course, you add 13 together. 1 plus 3 is 4. So these are all 4 as well. But they're all 13. So that's the 13th day. I believe she's the last one because like I showed... Oh, let me go this way, actually. And then she also shows 222 in English Gematria. It's just crazy. So these their names are representing so many things, and they're very similar. Okay, and like I said, she represents the last day in the 14th day of the, of the second month of February. So this is very involved. This is very crazy. So you have, in a sense, the uh, 12th month, the second day, and then you have the second month, the 14th day. And again, they have all these different meanings, these different um, calendar numbers, and I mean, all these different things. So they can have all these different messages in so many ways, hidden, backwards, forwards, scrambled, you know, and all this stuff. So they can basically put all their messages in so many things. Um, and give themselves more power, spiritual power, by doing so. Okay, it's crazy. And then, like I said, I shared this one in the first video. Literally, in the Super Bowl, 
we have the 12th month, like I said, it's February, and then February 2nd, we have that represented, and right here, 1 plus 2 is 3, and then the second day is right here, it's right there in this graphic right here, um, 12th month, the second day is represented in the name Kansas City in English Dramatria, which was one of the teams that played, which is red and white sacrifice, and then San Francisco is represented by 12, uh, 122 as well, which is 12th month, second day, February 2nd, February 2nd, February 2nd in Miami, because it's a mirror of 122 and 122, which is 12-2, backwards, forwards, however you look at it, and then like I said, also Miami itself is 45, but also in English ordinal, um, English Dramatra backwards, reverse English Dramatra is 54, which is what the Super Bowl number was. On top of that, we have Shakira, like I said, which is 122 in reverse ordinal, which is 12-2, which is the 12th month, the second day. For all this to match is impossible unless it was planned. Hopefully you can see that. If you can't see that, you need to open up your brain. You need to open up your eyes, open up your heart to the truth. It's right there. This is impossible for this all this to be. Okay, now I'm going to break down some things in the Super Bowl. This is really quite ridiculous, and it's really stupid. In fact, I'm not getting, there's, there's stuff in here. There's stars here. I'm not going to get into all this. Um, there, there's so many things I can get into in this video, and I just don't have time. So let me go through this. So she is displaying a particular area of her body, and I'm going to call it could call it the female area, but I'm going to call it the crotch, just to be silly and uh, add a little bit of humor to the stupid stuff and video and everything that I'm doing and this ridiculous, insane stuff that they're talking about, about sacrifice and killing people and, I mean, all this it just ridiculous stuff. So I'm going to call it the crotch. So she's showing a crotch, you know, in many ways, uh, both her and Jennifer Lopez are, because they're, they're promoting messages about birth and conception together. Okay, let me get into all this. So she starts off right here. By the way, she's in scarlet, okay, which is a form of red, of course, or red. She's representing the scarlet, the whore of Babylon clothed in scarlet and red. It's also sacrifices blood. It's the blood of the innocent. There's so many different things. Um, but she, here she is displaying her crotch. Okay, and it just constantly throbbing back and forth crotch, both of them. And I'm just going to say crotch a bunch of times because it's silly and it's kind of funny to me. And I'm going to just call it crotch. And she's standing on a, a gray altar. It looks like stone and it's coming up. It's rectangular in a way. And, uh, and that's all on purpose as well. Um, and then here she's touching her crotch. And, sh and then they're dancing, pointing down at, at the crotch. I mean, so many times it's really crazy. And there's the altar. You see this altar right here? It's a stone, representing a stone altar right here. I mean, this is so much symbolism in here. And I'm going to break this down the best I can see the Lord's leading me to. Um, and Jesus gets all the glory on this. He's the one that's guiding me to a lot of this understanding. And it's blowing my mind even right now. I couldn't believe the stuff I found in the last few days, especially. It's been mind-blowing. Hopefully, excuse me, I burped there. Uh, hopefully you see this. Okay, um... And then they're doing this position. I'm not, some of these things, these signs, different things they do, and I don't understand them completely. So I don't know what this is. If anybody has any idea what this is, this I, this seems like it's something old, or this idea of this position here. I'm not really sure what it is. And a lot of them have their mouths open, and their tongues out in different ways. It's really stupid. I mean, um, and the Bible talks about the, you know, the enemy having the tongue out or winking and how it's not good and they have secrets and things. It's, it's really crazy. So they're going to show this many times again, throbbing, you know, legs wide, throbbing back and forth so many times being the horror of Babylon, being the scarlet horror. I mean, seriously, can you be more obvious how whorish this whole thing is? It's really quite sick. And as a father of children, I mean, people kids watching this and everything i mean are you kidding me this is for public consumption for children as well i mean it's ridiculous it's so ridiculous i can't even say so let's keep going and then she's they're kind of pushing down and pointing down as their their legs are wide open <clears throat> many many times throbbing doing all kinds of stuff back and forth i mean seriously i mean on national tv and everything it's really crazy and then they, they break out of this formation they're in, and I immediately notice what this is. This uh, this is testicles, and this is something else. And then she's coming down the middle, like being semen here. And then it switches to that, 
they change their position and it switches to that. Let me show you what it is upside down. What is that upside down? Have any idea? Well, I do. That's what that is. Okay, it's pretty obvious to me. And then, so here she is. She is an egg coming down here. And so she's also moving down this way. So it depends on the position. It goes from literally from <clears throat> the male thing to the female thing in just a few moves of some of these dancers to a different form. I used to do marching uh, years and years and years ago in high school. And I know, you know, you can go, literally go from one position to move in a few steps and then you can completely make something different. Um, and <clears throat> that's what they're doing here. Okay. Um, and then here, then this is one of the next shots. And this reminded me of an egg that's in the fallopian tube. And then it goes into the uterus. Um, you know, I'm a father of four children. So I know a little bit about this stuff. And uh, we've done natural childbirth on our, you know, our children as well. So, um, and so that looks like an egg to me and that this, what that's showing. And again, all this other symbolism that, you know, points to that as well, <clears throat> which I'm going to get into. And then it becomes fiery. This thing gets fire in the center. It gets bigger. <clears throat> and then she, it's superimposed over her, right where her heart is. And I wonder why, hmm, what could it be? I don't know. And then right here, see this, how it's superimposed over her heart? And see how the V in her bra, basically, or whatever that's called, it looks like a bra to me. <clears throat> um, it makes a heart shape on fire and it's in the position of roughly where her heart is roughly i mean it's a little high but um a heart on fire is what I've, i'm talking about what ipad goat shows okay in fact here it is here's the antichrist with his heart on fire okay this is quite staggering hopefully you see this and that's why this this is i'm going to show you many reasons among many of the other reasons over 50 false flags have been shown in ipad goat years ahead of time <clears throat> and symbolism and things that have happened and I'm going to show you several of these things that they're showing in just the Super Bowl halftime show that are, were shown ahead of time in iPad Goat. And it's pretty startling. And hopefully you're w awake enough and, and um, you know, you're not bl too blind to be able to see this. Again, his heart's on fire. And it's a heart within a heart within a heart. And I can't even get into all the th reasons of what a heart means as far as being an upside down W and a sideways three and everything else. Um, and I can get into that as far as the dates and everything too that's shown in this as well. Um, I can't. Maybe I'll do it in the next video. I don't know. And there she is. Okay, she is. Her heart's on fire. And again, she represents. See all this red, and then she's now she's holding a rope. Well, why? Hmm. I wonder why. Well, now she's ba binding her hands herself. So she's a sacrifice. And so she's bloody as well. She's a sacrifice. She's binding her hands as a sacrifice. This is so sick. There's, I mean, you got to admit that there's more to than, than just meets the eye in this whole thing. This is very ritualistic. This is very symbolic <clears> of <throat> many things. I'm showing you what this is. Okay. And then because this, the, the whole stadium is a sacrificial altar and they're in the center. They're right in the center right here, right in the center down here. And there's, they show fire many times and that's where fire comes up to burn the sacrifice like this, the four horned altar, like I mentioned in my last video. And you burn the sacrifice in the middle. That's how it was done for a long time. And it's going to be done again soon when the, when the new temple is built. In fact, they, they did um, some altar stuff um, to get this, the temple started and everything recently with burning some things. Um, anyway, and then here she's binding her hands above her head and still shaking her you know crotch area all over the place. And then <clears throat> more, more of that. Okay, and then... And then it changes into this Indian music, and then she's moving around like it's a snake around her body. You know, like I've seen in movies and stuff where these uh, belly dances, she's doing a belly dance thing now, and then it changes, it changes the look, the mood, everything. And it's like a serpent around her. And you hear that serpent music like a co like she's handling a cobra, and it's around her and everything. And she's moving it around. I mean, it's very, I mean, I wouldn't call this sultry. I wouldn't call this sexual myself, but I guess some people might consider it. And it's sick to me the way that is. I mean, it, you know, there's ways to do things. And then there's just, it, it, especially when you combine sacrifice and all the stuff that this is, it's very sick. And it just disgusts me. It really does. I'm just, I'm disgusted by these women and what they be, turn themselves into. It's really quite sad when women are supposed to be a glory to God in so many different ways. 
and a, a better example than that and just uh, uh, it's just so shameful it's really ridiculous okay and then so she he's got the the rope around her <clears throat> and then she's standing in fire because she's a sacrifice of course i mean you know you can't make this stuff up i mean this is obviously what's going on if you have any kind of eyes to see i'm showing you this and it's a ring of fire and it's also so the ring of fire has to do also with the ring of fire that's around the Pacific, where the, all the volcanoes are, and the center is Hawaii. And then that's going to be on fire as well. So that's what that's showing as well. Not only is it a sacrifice, but there's a ring of fire, and then the center of the ring of fire in the Pacific is Hawaii. And I'm saying that's where the portal will open. I've said this many times, and it's going to actually show this in this. It's crazy. And then she's done with that, and this fire and everything, the rope, and then she goes up with her arms and her hair, and then she comes down and then see on her left hand, I mean, it's her right hand, but you're, you see it as the left hand and she's doing the six, six, six sign with her fingers. And she thinks she's all sly, but I caught her and I'm showing you it's a six, six, six sign. Okay. And again, look at all these people doing the six, six, six. So you, you put your, uh, you know, index finger and your thumb together in a circle and they could say, Oh, that's okay. No, it's, it's six, six, six with the three fingers up. 666 sign and it's and it, well where is it around her eye and then what about some people have their tongue sticking out when they do it and or, or whatever like justin bieber over right here or, or whoever i mean look at all these celebrities doing this you know you have entertainers celebrities um you know sports people i mean music people i mean everything i mean they're all in the same club they're saying hey i'm in the same club with the devil and by the way I've, you know this is also six two with the two fingers and then the three standing up six two three and again that's bo's number six two three and it's also nine two three and they show it as nine two three as well so you have the upside down here with this guy anyway well she does that too she does the six to six with the microphone and then she does that too she does a secret little quick one eye exposed the other eye covered with her hair and the tongue sticking out and then she's like i'm a demon yeah i mean are you kidding well, she's demonically inspired without a doubt. I mean, she has to be to do what she does, to make the music she does, to be loved by the world. You know, if you're loved by the world so much like that, then you're on the demon side. You're on the en the enemy side. Absolutely. And so this poor soul, I mean, I think it's really messed up. She's so deceived to do something like that. She does a 666 sign, does that. And this th That's obvious that she's in the club. She's showing, I'm in the club. I'm really no no i mean she knows to some extent what she's doing i don't think she really completely knows what she's doing and how she's bringing so many people to hell she's you know contributing to this in just crazy ways and then she's right here you see she's holding the golden microphone because eventually she'll be in gold she because she represents the golden gate okay and then she does this other tongue thing like, -l 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 -l. i mean and you know yes there are arab arabic women in different cultures that do the thing with the tongue and i'm not saying that's still good that's not good that's actually all has tons of roots of being evil and why would a you know woman just go blah, blah, blah. i mean <laughs> it's it's uh it's just it, it's obviously not right i mean if you have any kind of sense whatsoever i mean this is obviously not right i mean that's what these people do it's one eye the eye in the triangle or the eye in the pyramid the all-seeing eye and then the tongue sticking out as in the dead sheep or, you know, whatever, the enemy sticking his tongue out at you um, for different reasons. Anyway, um, it's, that's obvious. And then they form this. <sighs> Some people would think it's a triangle, but it's not. It's a heart because there's a dip right here. These women are right at the edge. And then these women are forward a little bit more. And it's a little bit more hidden, but it's a heart. And it's on fire, like I've said. This, all this stuff's on fire, 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 F heart, red, everybody's in red, sacrifice, blood. I mean, are you kidding me? What else would this mean? Oh, we're just having a good time in the heat, in the flames. You know, we're just dancing in the flames. You know, I mean, give me a break. That's what this stuff is. That's what these sick people believe. That's what the people that have the one eye and the tongue sticking out and the six and six. They believe in all this stuff. They believe in this evil sacrifice of innocence and all that stuff to bring in their world it's just it's sick sick people and again this is the altar this whole stadium is an altar with horns and then there's the fire down there there's fire right there this fire that's the fiery heart like i said let me blow that up down there i'm gonna blow this up down here and there it is 
this actually looks like a heart. And again, it's on fire, and there's fire over here and stuff. It's crazy. That's that's what's going on here. Let me talk about the heart a little bit. People, all you have that use hearts, you know, on you know, hearting something, even in my uh you know youtube and stuff i heart people and i'm like what is a heart what it's disgusting it's actually let me give you some insight on what a heart really is the female genital genitals were painted or inscribed on the outside doors of the brothels in pompeii which was destroyed destroyed by mount vesuvius and i've looked at a lot of that stuff in the past it's pretty crazy and can be found perfectly preserved there today their appearance was simplified to the valentine heart which is why sailors frequently use the symbol as a tattoo in fact, I remember, I think it was Popeye that has a big old heart tattoo on his arm or something. Oh, no, that was an anchor. But I've seen sailors that had that you know, when I was younger. Um, uh, so sailors frequently use the symbol as a tattoo. Sailors were at sea for months or years without women, so they did, when they hit a port, sex was one of the first things on their mind. When the tattoos were questioned by family or wives, they were usually um, um, euphemized. Well, euphemized, I don't know why I have a hard time, I know what that word is, euphemized as just a symbol for love. Okay, so, and like I said, I'm using a euphemism of the female area as crotch. <laughs> so I'm calling crotch the female area. And as you can see, if you know anything about the female area, that's a symbol of the female area. Okay, that way, if you just think about it for a second, I mean, a little bit, and not, not too long, anyway. And then upside down, it's male, Right side up is female, upside down is male. Wow. Well, livestock owners typically did this job themselves to save money, and a few were professionals. The testicles were grafted together at the bottom of the scrotum and simply sliced off. Testicles are elongated ovoids, some somewhat tapered at the back end, wired at the top. Then they were pressed side to side, and tapered ends from form the rudimentary point that is at the bottom of the Valentine heart. And the wider ends form the top lobes. It may have occurred to someone that because they are part of the man's erogenous area, they could be seen as a source of romance. You will find testicles stylized as inverted Valentine's hearts on some coat of arms, such as the Colleoni family of Milan. And I'm going to show that exa example. And in fact, there's many examples in history of where this heart comes from upside down. And I'm going to show you an example here. So there's a Colleoni um, um, more... Uh, the more recent coat of arms and it goes back in history so you look at that i see all the really stylized heart which is really testicles now it looks more like testicles see that more obvious okay and then and then that's even older and that really looks like testicles i mean it really does so that shows you the origin of this and then it's not just hey that's just what it looks like kind of so you know it's, it's really the origin of this there's it's multifaceted it is and like I said, Tesco's house, semen, and then an iPad goat, semen is everywhere. I mean, it, where, there's white splotches everywhere in iPad goat. It's really crazy. On walls, on things, everywhere. And there's several penises in iPad goat. It's really ridiculous. In fact, I hate saying all this, but, you know, it's for your benefit and what I'm, what the Lord wants me to do. He wants me to reveal and, and warn you of what the enemy's doing is he's showing the birth and the conception and the, the death and rebirth and all this stuff. It's really crazy. What's going on with these people? Okay. And then here, it just continues. So here she is laying down. And here comes this guy in silver. Again, um, there's several things going on here. He's, I believe, a priest, a false priest for the sacrifice. Um, in fact, he has a, you know, a cross on and everything. And he's all in this silver getup. And then he goes over and he like does his hand thing. So she bends back. He look, He's looking right down at her crotch slash belly. And he's waving his hand in different ways over this, like blessing it. And you got to, it's really crazy. This is what's going on. I literally have the pictures here to show this. And it, you know, looks like they're dancing. So, but he's really, and he waves his hand in different ways. And he has almost like a devil horns looking shape there. He's waving it kind of around and looking down at that area. I'm literally looking at the area and doing hands things right there, like blessing it or cursing it or something, just both maybe in a sense, in a sick way, their blessing or cursing. I, mean, I don't know what it is. It's just really crazy. He's moving his hand more, twirling it, looking down the same spot. It's very crazy. And then here she is after he goes to the side a little bit. Then she licks her thumb and then she beckons us to come with her. 
I mean, there's definitely a lot of, I don't know what the thing was, licking the thumb and then beckoning you to come. When I get the idea, hey, come with me to this stupid place and I don't want to go. I say, no way. I'm not coming with you, whore Babylon. No thanks. No thank you. I'm going to heaven. You can have your, you know, your horndom. Anyway, um, and then this stage goes to this, these flowers. And then there's a pink flower, big pink flower in the middle. And that reminds me of that, of course. It's very crazy, an iPad goat, okay? And then this flower in the middle turns into this, like, spiral. It starts spiraling. Um, like I said, when that happens, when the Antichrist is born, is when the silver gate and the golden gate will be open, and they're, they're kind of like a spiral. They're a spiral. is a dimensional portal, basically, um, to go from one area to another area. And this is what's going to happen. And so they're dancing in a circle around this whole thing about this. It ends up going from a flower to a spiral. And then there's the crotch again. I mean, they just love this crotch thing. It's just nonstop and boom everywhere. I mean, seriously, this is just getting ridiculous. And then pointing to it and everything. Let's go as wide as we can on national TV with the camera right there. I mean, seriously. I mean, if you didn't get this, wow, what are you doing? What are you smoking? Or what are you... Wow. I mean, seriously. Um, anyway, and then let's get more obvious. Let's point to it. Let's point to it. Let's point to the belly where the conception or the, where the pregnancy and the birth's going to happen. And let's point to the conception down there. And then they kind of look like hearts where the thumbs are in a way and the hands kind of looks like hearts, you know, and a lot of this stuff is conceptual and hidden in different ways. Um, not super obvious all the time. And that's for a reason because so not everybody can't just go, oh wait, hold on, hold, hey, uh, and they want to hide it from you. They wanna they wanna lull you into this false sense of security and that it's okay, it's just entertainment, no big deal. But behind it's insidious, it's evil. We're talking about sacrifice of people, we're talking about sacrifice of children here. There's so many things that are evil about this. I just want I'm on a puke. Just so sick. And, be, oh, just take it easy. It's just, you know, it's just a show. And people are just dancing. Well, why are they dancing like this? If you can't see this, you need to wake up. Wake up, please. And then here comes J-Lo. In fact, there's her logo down there, the J-Lo, the J-L-O right down here. J-Lo. Now, I'm going to show you. Now, she represents security. We represents the Golden Gate. And then uh, J-Lo represents the Silver Gate. And, of course, both are births. Um, both represent births as well. But look at her logo upside down. It's It just so happens to the L and the J look like pi, <laughs> which is the you know the, the symbol for pi, P-I, pi. And then omega, omega pi. <laughs> you know, I guess I'll use another euphemism and I'll call her, this is a hidden thing upside down. Her, her logo for J-Lo is, is literally upside down, and I just realized this recently, a couple days ago. Um, she is the ultimate crotch. I mean, she's the mega crotch. Let's say it this way. I must call her the mega crotch. I don't know why, but I'm just going to do that. So omega pi, if you can imagine what that might mean, omega pi. You know, pi is a euphemism for crotch. So try to be as you know broad as I can without spelling it out completely. So she's the mega crotch. We'll call her the mega crotch. Okay, so she's the mega crotch. Okay, and it's ridiculous. This is just sick. This is what women are reduced to in this culture. It just makes me sick. Man, ugh, vomit like crazy here. Okay, so that's what this is, and I'm going to show you. There she is, spread wide, hand right there, the, the mega crotch. Let's call her the mega crotch or the... Omega Pi. Are you kidding me? Omega Pi. Like, do you not see what this is? I mean, there, there's some men in here with. There's a man right there. There's some women. It, look at this person with their lip. Oh, I mean, you know, this is not good. It's not good. And again, she's wearing black or leather. Black is in the yin and yang symbol. Black is, fem is feminine. And I'm going to show that to you later here. And which is the Antichrist is represents black, feminine spirit, different things. Okay. And then there she is. I mean, the the <laughs> the mega crotch on display. And if you, there it is more just, and this guy's like, hey, check it out. It's the mega crotch. I mean, 
Are you kidding me? I mean, literally nonstop. I mean, literally, th that area is open on purpose so you can just say, hey, there it is. I'm the Omega Pi. I mean, are you... Man, I hope you're getting... This is re ridiculous. And there it is. I'm on display. And then the, now you have these male dancers, and they're in white and black, which, again, is the um, yin and yang. Yin and yang. And that's, again, yin and yang is a symbol of both births. The dark side and the light side. That's what yin and yang really is. Ultimately, it is. And I'm going to show you that to you again. It's the twin birth. It's the twin of the of the birth of the darkness and the birth of the lightness. The man-child and the antichrist at the same time. That's what they're showing here. I'm telling you. It's crazy. <clears throat> okay. And then here it is. Um, she, again, she's grabbing a crotch. Okay. When she's not pointing to it or flexing it or you know everything she's grabbing it pointing to it, whatever okay and then this is super obvious i mean you know i could say this up to this point and you'd be like yeah whatever but look i mean are you kidding me if she is not the omega pi the mega crotch i don't know what is if you cannot see this you are certifiably blind i mean you might as well like get a cane and wear dark glasses and walk around and bang into stuff because you cannot see I mean, literally, you cannot see what's in front of your face. She is the Omega Crotch. Or Mega Crotch. O Omega Crotch. I mean, <laughs> just insane. Insane. I'm trying to make this kind of light and silly a little bit because it's just absolutely rude and disgusting and horrible. And I think about all the, the detriment and the um, all the stuff that they're planning and the murder of millions and everything. It just ugh, makes me sick. Okay, so this is... The annual eclipse that happened recently, and it's shown in Heliophant, obviously. And then she does this thing where she's, of course, she's dancing on a pole. <laughs> I mean, that's very positive, right? No. And then she do, does this Jesus pose thing, and with all these people laying on the bottom, I mean, you, you figure that out. Um, and then here, the, the silver gate opens, the mega crotch opens, the silver gate, and then... What happens when that happens? As soon as the mega crotch opens, then, oh, look, it breaks apart. Look, oh, it opens. Something opens. Oh, the portal opens. And it's green. It's lush. It's Hawaii. It's an island. It's a spiral. And look, it's waterfalls. It's green and it's waterfalls on a big, on mountains. That's Hawaii. I mean, that's an example of a an island with huge mountains. It's, it's, you know, it's in a sea of people and everything right there. It's, you know, it's these big waterfalls on this, you know, this is Hawaii. I mean, that's what this is. The green, the waterfall, the heights, you know, the, the uh, vortex that opens up. I've said as many times, Hawaii is going to open up and that's where the, anim that's where the uh, demons are going to come out from the pit and everything. At the same time, the, the innocents are taken away first just before that the innocence and i'm gonna get into what that is but there there it is the mega crotch the omega crotch the whatever you want to call it i mean it's just crazy you know <sighs> just guys and again it's birth canal it's all these things it's birth it's 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 uh men and women getting together you know this whole thing it's about this whole thing the birth of the antichrist is what they're promoting and then again, she's stand, she's the silver gate. She's in silver, standing on the 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 stone gray looking altar. And they do all these different poses. I don't know what all the different poses are and what they all mean. I mean, there's there's definitely a lot of obvious ones. But and then here they are. Um, this is this is CERN. This is this is the inside of the collector or the um, what is it called? They're called the, the they're um, in CERN the. Uh, where the Large Hadron Collider is um, in Sweden, sorry, Switzerland, um, slash um, France. Um, these are the collectors or the, this is the showing the inside of it. Anyway, I'll show you here in a second. But that's showing different things of this. Um, that's the inside of uh, a big collector. I think, I'm trying to think of the, the term for it now. They're called, um, when they have particles that, um smashed to each other in the in the large hadron collider it's called anyway i can't remember what it's called right now on top of my head maybe i'll remember it but that's what it looks like see that's the inside of one of those um particle um collectors um detector yeah, that's what it's called it's called a detector 
they're particle detectors and there's four of them in this large hadron collider that's underneath the ground and over in Europe there. So, and they, that's what's going to open up the portal. It's getting to so close where it's going to be able, going to be able to open up the portal. And that is going to be Hawaii. Um, it's basically the center of where that all is anyway. So, and that's showing it right there. You can see the large hadron collider. Um, this, this is the inside of this collector. I just said what it's called. Anyway, you know what I just said. Okay. And then this guy shows up when JLo is doing her thing. And then these guys have this happy face with an open mouth. And then it looks like it's a, it's got like these petals that look kind of like hearts. And there are 12 of them. And there's a happy face in the middle. So that makes the 13th. Um, and this is, you know, and we've shown, I've shown an iPad go in the center of the flower is 12. And then I'm showing how the apple roll is 13. And these there's 12 petals here. And then there's a, the face makes 13. Um, and there's so much going on in all this. I can't hit everything. And then he's pointing down there. He's like, duh, duh, duh. and then, you know, they're simulating getting together in a, you know, you know, in a way. Um, I mean, are you kidding me? Like, this is just getting, and then it gets to these children. Okay. And, and guess what? Okay. People said they're, in, people said, oh, they're in cages. Well, I look at it as a bird cage. And what I also look at is, um, the white, because they're pure. I mean, they're innocence. Like I've said many, many times before all this ever came around i've said for months and months and months um the innocent will be taken around this time before the massive tribulation starts and all these massive disasters happen Mo most caused by man and then eventually god will do his wrath um uh, later but um and it will in a sense be jesus's wrath in the beginning but man will be p really responsible for all this um the tsunamis on both coasts of the United States, eventually the nuclear attacks on the United States and things like that. And eventually, um, anyway, so these innocent are, in a sense, they're going to be taken up. And now, in, in a, what I see this as, these are bird cages, and they're going to fly away. They are going to fly away. They're, they're, I'm telling you, they're going to fly away. And those of you who have children... Um, just be prepared. They're going to fly away. It's in the Bible. It's in the Old Testament and the New Testament um, about how Jesus, for example, he's the lion who's going to rip the children away from their mother. I mean, it says about, you know, um, woe to the women that are pregnant and suck well and so like that because the basically he's, he's saying that the children are going to be taken away. So woe to you. You're not going to like this. They're going to be taken because they're not going to be destroyed in this time. God's going to take them all before all this horrible, really bad stuff happens. So that's what I believe it's showing. But it's also showing a mixture of different things besides that. Because it's showing here, this is the female symbol. Um, and they, these little things right here, when this opens, they're going to be going up as this thing opens. And this is the silver gate in the center here. Okay, so it represents a female a cons a birth or whatever. And this center here is basically, see that? It's opening up. See, it's opening. It's a like a, it's a silver gate. This is silver inside there, and it's opened up. And then you also have this female a symbol looking like it's gold. So you have silver and gold at the same time, portals opening up. And then these children are flying. And you can see these children, uh, that what they're in. But right there, they look like they have little wings or something. They're flying up. Okay, that's what I see, and I think I have some handle on it somewhat. You decide, but this is crazy, okay? Um, and then right here, what is this? This image depicted on the left is the Venus female symbol, okay? And that's what's shown right there. Or the image depicted on the right is the Mars or the male symbol, male symbol right here, okay? So I'm going to talk about this a little bit later and how they both have to do with gold and silver gates in, in, a, in a little bit here. Okay, this is really crazy wait till you see this okay and then she comes out when these kids are out and everything dancing and they're they're the innocent that will be taken because they're pure they're wearing white and then she comes out on this american flag but on one side it's american flag and the other side it's a puerto rican flag but people go oh hey they're supporting puerto rico and all that stuff and they're hispanic and everything no that's not what this is i'm gonna show you exactly what this is this is what this is this is the flag in ipad goat and where it's ripped in half in a sense and the half that's ripped off is one star, okay? And that one star, I believe, represents Hawaii because when Hawaii gets attacked, it's going to be completely destroyed. I mean, we're talking about a tsunami that's anywhere from 800 to 1,000 to 1,200 feet high. 
um, when it gets hit by nuclear Poseidon torpedoes by Russian subs, which is all the predictive programming says is going to hit the Helena slump. And then the East Rift Zone is going to fall down into the ocean, cause a mass displacement of land, you know, cause a massive tsunami. And that's been predictably programmed. And I've shown in many videos all the evidence. This has all been planned. You know, Kilauea has been going off for reasons. And it just had an earthquake of 4.2 um, on the second. I mean, literally on the day of the Super Bowl, there's a 4.2, which happens to be six weeks. And Trump was talking about the peace plan acting, uh, taking six weeks to be implemented or whatever. And there's the six weeks stuff going around for a little bit. I mean, and there's a 4.2 in Hawaii, which is 42, which is six weeks, which is also four plus two, which is six. And then six days after um, the second is going to be the eighth. And I'm saying eighth could be when, um, you know, um, Kilauea starts erupting with lava that's shown on iPad Goat. I mean, all kinds of stuff. But that's what this is showing. This is one star, and it just so happens a Puerto Rican flag. It looks a lot like the United States flag, and it just has one star. But that this is why it's saying this, because it's going to be destroyed. And here it is, flying in the wind in iPad Goat. And you can see how this kind of looks almost triangular right here that the star is in, and then it kind of looks like the Puerto Rican flag with the same stripes and everything. But that's what this is, okay? And then here's the flag being ripped. But check this out. Uh, man, and I hadn't seen this before, and I'm looking through these frames, and I could not believe this. I mean, so I see this ripped here, right? And then she's showing that, going from the American flag to one star, in a sense, being ripped. And then check this out. And then look at the what the flag forms into, the, the what's left of the flag on the pole. It forms into a heart. I'm like excuse me baking powder it forms into a heart <laughs> ah. is that is, is that just a massive coincidence uh no nope there's no such thing as massive coincidence or really coincidence at all things happen for a reason okay this is insane i mean this is really crazy okay so we have the gold and silver gates represented by these two women that I've been talking about way before this. I mean, I'm talking about the Golden Silver Gates opening at the same time and all this, and the birth, twin birth, and, and, and you know, and these women are, you know, represent birth women with, you know, curvy women and all this stuff, especially Jennifer Lopez. I mean, you know, very curvy, of course. And then here's the innocent children that are represented, like I said, and then they're juxtaposed with these demons that are coming out of the pit at the same, after they leave. And here they are, they're doing this monster looking thing putting their hands up going, rawr, and then they're making these faces uh, you can't see it very well here but they did they were having to make these faces and dance around like monsters it's crazy because the innocence is leaving at the same time the en the evil spirits from the abyss are and the, the it, it's opening up but the, god's going to take the innocence away before all this these nasty monsters come through and the, through the abyss. It's crazy. And then here you got the golden silver gates. They're, you know, they're wiggling their stuff. And then it knocks all the people, guys in white just fall down. And I think that's probably the innocent. Um, I mean, the people are going to be really affected by this stuff. There's so much going on in this. this is really, I can't even touch on all of it. It really is. So, I mean, these two women are representing both of these gates, both births. I mean, they're women. I mean, it's just, it's really phenomenal what they're doing with this stuff. It's, okay, so now let me go to, that was 2-2 on -two. February 2nd. This is February 9th. I'm going to hit on some things on February 9th. So again, this is the eighth day of the apple roll. The apple makes, with the C makes the eight. Also hits the bottom of Obama's foot. Oop, well, I don't know what happened there. Hold on a second. Okay, I had this program freak out on me. So here we go. We'll talk briefly about 2-9 or um, uh, February 9th, okay, and that's the 8th day. And then on the 8th day, it just happens to be on February 9th, there's going to be a full moon. I mean, it just happens to be when this, you know, here comes this Antichrist figure, the boy rebirth because he was dead with a head wound. And he's going to come up with a whirling dervish um, up on the full moon. Okay, and I got to show you something that's pretty mind-blowing. Okay, so I've talked about how on 11-9 or November 9th, as I've shown in my timeline, everything in past videos, my last video, and even a little bit in this one, 
Um, that was the Golden Gate alignment. Now, here's another amazing alignment happening with the same five planets that were in the Revelation 12 sign with the sun and the ones that were in the Golden Gate alignment. And this is incredible. Hopefully, you see this. This is mind blowing. What this is, and this is happening right here. This is the alignment really begins, it starts forming in the fifth, sixth, something like that, but it really comes together um, on the ninth. Um, and then it goes to the base of the 14th because Mars is, enters into the Golden Gate. It begins to enter the Golden Gate on the 9th here. So again, the second um, month or February 9th is also the 12th month, the ninth day. So that's what I've been saying. Or 12 nines and tons of codes I've shared for many videos. 12 nine, the attack day of 12 nine or 9 12 or whatever. It's just crazy. Among other attack codes. I mean, it's crazy. So you see this alignment. You got Venus. In fact, Uranus is even right here, but you really can't see the planet. It's not showing up because it's dark, I guess. And then Venus, Mercury, the Sun, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars are all in alignment. Okay. And you notice here that the whole ecliptic is like this. It's not, we're not seeing on the ecliptic like this, you know, horizontally or anything. It's literally the whole ecliptic. It's going across you know, um, the sky basically in, in a different way. It's in a different dimension basically. And why? I'll tell you why. This is, this will blow your mind. It blew my mind. Hopefully it blows your mind. But we're going from this right here. And I'm going to show you a little more detail. This is Sagittarius and Mars is just passing Ophiuchus going into the Golden Gate. Ophiuchus, by the way, is the serpent handler, which is the protector of the Golden Gate. And then this is Orion, he is right, right at his club here is um, the silver gate with this horn points to as well in the club right here. Um, that's the silver gate and Orion protects the silver gate. And that's what this is. And he's ready with the club to be, to hit anything that comes. And so the, it's so crazy. These, this line of planets are actually pointing to both gates on the ninth. It's phenomenal. Let me show you this. So literally, I draw a red line here from Mars through Jupiter, Saturn, the Sun, Mercury, Venus. Do it a little bit above that. You can still see the planets a little bit, but it's right straight line pointing right in a crazy angle where the whole ecliptic makes a sphere looking shape or a circle. It's it's amazing. I couldn't believe I found this. I'm just, I've been watching these for a while because I knew these five or in the Revelation 12 sign. They were also in the Golden Gate alignment, I said, and then in this. And now you even add Uranus to this as well. It's very quite mind-blowing to me. And then so it's on one end, it's pointing to the Silver Gate, this exact line pointing to the Silver Gate, but at the same time pointing to the Golden Gate, and Mars is entering the Golden Gate at this time. Man, I hope you're blown away. I am blown away. So that is the Silver Gate. This is the Golden Gate that Mars is entering into. Um, this line going across, pointing to both is just <laughs> very tripping me out right now, very much. <clears throat> and then on the 14th, um, we have the same alignment. Okay. It's, and then it starts, starts breaking up just after this. It just, it's crazy. It's going for this time. It, it, this can't be a coincidence. It's got to be super significant. Um, and then again, the golden gate Mars right here, as you see right here, let me show you the, so this is. This is roughly the center where the where the ecliptic typically uh, crosses through the um, our galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy. Right here is roughly the center of the galaxy, right in here. But that is where the Golden Gate is, right here. Okay, and I'm gonna show you here. So this is the Golden Gate, and Mars is entering the Golden Gate right there on 1214. Again, Mars also symbolizes war. So this could be completely when war starts, when Mars comes in here, and then. Oh, let me go this way. Okay, and then, so as you see here, there's the figures right there. Okay, and then again, this is where the Golden Gate is. This is um, um, Sagittarius right here. It's right up here, right at its top of its bow. Ophiuchus, Ophiuchus is right here. This is right here in the Golden Gate, right here. Okay, this is mind-blowing. Okay, and then again, Mars, um, we have this whole alignment pointing Mars on this end. Okay, Mars is on this end. It's alignment pointing to the Golden Gate. Then on this end, we have Venus on this end of this five five alignment. There's actually even Uranus over here, but I'm looking at this five has the five has to do with the Golden Gate alignment I talked about on November 9th and all the way back to the Revelation 12 sign with all five exact planets um, and the sun on the Revelation 12 sign. Okay. 
And that Venus is on the other end, and it's pointing to the silver gate. So that's why we got a silver arrow, and we have a golden arrow pointing to Mars and the golden gate. And this is crazy. I'm just so blown away. And again, here, bring back these symbols again. The image depicted on the left is the Venus, the female symbol. The image depicted on the right is Mars and the male symbol. So what I'm saying is, as well, is the man-child is, of course, man. Man-child is male, and that's the golden gate. And then the female... The Antichrist is the is Venus, symbol for Venus, the female. Okay, it's very bizarre. Okay, this is tripping me out, and the Lord led me to this. And it also has to do with the yin and the yang. If you if you remember, um, here it is right here. So the, on the dark side is negative, feminine. Again, this is there. I didn't come up with this. Um, the dark side of the yin, yin and yang is negative, feminine, passive, intuitive, dark night cold soft slow moon okay and then the other side is the white it's positive masculine active logical light day hot hard fast sun i mean this is crazy you can't make this stuff up i cannot believe this this perfect alignment that points to both has a line right across the universe <laughs> i mean right across our in our solar system that we can see it's, it's actually the galaxy that we're in and it, from that angle you can see it goes it connects those two in a sense it's really bizarre it this has got to mean something massive i mean and this may be the time um very very crazy okay i hope you see all this that i've presented to you I try to do as fast as i can um and really give you some insight about all these things with ipad go that were shown in the um, super bowl halftime show and other things so i want to ask you for your help i really need your help um, again, I've really been instructed by the Lord to do this more than I ever have. And because these times are short, I mean, we have the coronavirus on the march. I think the numbers are times 10 or times 100 of it, what it's showing to the public in the United States and other places in the world. Um, it's it's off the charts. This thing is growing. I believe it's going to just overtake. We're going to have massive thousands and thousands of deaths here really soon. And the United States could be really affected we have, you know, just all kinds of these things I'm showing. And so I'm trying to do my best to follow the Lord and, you know, share these things with you. What's what's gone on in the Super Bowl? What's this time frame might mean as far as these attacks that are coming? And we know many things are going on right now. So I'm asking for your prayers. Please, I beg you for your prayers. I'm always being attacked in so many ways. I've been trying to do, I'm doing better with sleep. I've been really praying against it. I've been asking for prayers and and doing some different things physically to try and sleep better. But I've been yawning in the day a lot, and um, and now I'm doing better. I've had a few days where I'm actually have some decent sleep. Um, it's always something. It seems like it's always something kind of battle, and it's just very trying. And again, I need you to share my videos with anybody you can, um, and I really need your financial help. You know, my family. I I support my family a hundred percent. And I have for a long time. It's just the way we do it here. Uh, my 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 children are homeschooled and things. And so because the Lord has me do this, I don't have a full-time income like I used to or I have. And not that I can't. It's just I'm trying. I'm doing what he's showing me to do. So I need your help. Um, I'm going to have, again, a PayPal link in the description box. And if, if you can give anything, I really appreciate it. We need it. Um, I need to pay rent and so things like that, of course. Um, and so... I'm just completely committed to what the Lord's showing me, and I'm just trying to walk by faith, and especially in the last several months when I've been asking for resources because I've been putting pretty much all my time into these things. And like I used to, I used to work and then do it and then have no life. <laughs> and now I still have no life, but I work and do it somehow. I mean, I don't, I'm not working like I was, and I'm doing it all the time, and I still have no life, <laughs> it seems like. Um, but I need your help. So if you can give it all, the link's in the description box below for PayPal. Um, I really appreciate it. And any of you that I try to thank you in advance in the description box, I just can't get to everybody because, you know, I have four kids and a wife and life, and it's it's a lot. So, But I try to let people know as much as I can. Thank you so much for your gifts, um, your prayers, sharing the videos, monetary gifts that you can because we need them. And I thank you so much, and I just hope God blesses you big time no matter what happens i mean i think things are happening things are going to happen um whatever happens in this time frame i'm talking about i just pray that you're blessed and you grow and you wake up to the truth 
and the Lord is more in your life than he was before. So I just pray that you open your heart up to Jesus as much as possible because he's the one that's given me this stuff for you. So I just, uh, this is Exalted Lamb 1, over and out.